After 25 years of waiting, hard work, and an insane amount of money, it eventually got ready and was sent to space. NASA and other space agencies have sent stuff to space all the time. But this was something else. Because a lot of people in the world were waiting for this day and they're waiting in the same way for it to take its first picture. It might seem funny to say, but we've sent a time machine to space. A time machine where you can see far away. You could see so far back, you could see the beginning of the world. Okay, with all that out of the way, when is this actually gonna go over there, open itself up, get ready, and take the first picture? The real question is, what's the schedule looking like? Where James Webb is at right now and where we are is very scary. An insane telescope like this that's very expensive is getting farther away from us every day. You have to know that it's going to be one and a half million kilometers away in the L2 orbit. The yellow orbit is James Webb and the blue is Earth. James Webb is going to orbit the sun like this, but it's going to turn its behind to the sun so it stays in the dark. And not only is it going to stay in the dark because it, it will stay cooler, it will take better pictures. You know James Webb is opening up and leaving. Even the mirror is made up of 18 hexagonal pieces and they have to get together and create one big mirror. NASA says it will take three months total for the mirror to be assembled. They say the last and final piece that's gonna get completed is the mirror. And after that, it should be ready for its first picture. They say until the day it will be ready, it's gonna take three months, but they can't make any promises that it will for sure be ready to take its first picture around that time. Unfortunately, we have some bad news, and the first one is that if something happens to one of the parts opening up on James Webb. Another bad news is that the first picture that it will actually take are gonna be blurry because it's gonna take a few months for its lens to be adjusted and be less blurry. But in this video, we're gonna talk about what are the first pictures it's gonna take. I mean the first real pictures. Scientists say six months after launch, James Webb will be ready to take a good picture. The first thing on the list is to look at rocky planets nearby and look at their atmosphere. James Webb was built with the help of 41 countries and whoever paid that amount has the right to use the telescope. And the schedule has already been set up. But we have to know, more than 50% of the cost was covered by NASA. And the next big investor was ESA, the European Space Agency. These two are the biggest users and funders. But each country that invested gets to use it. But the best thing they're gonna use it for is to look at galaxies. 
and more than 30% of its time is scheduled to look at faraway galaxies. But to get warmed up, it's gonna look at rocky planets nearby. Looking at galaxies that are very far have always been a problem because they're very pale and even with the Hubble it was hard to see them. But we have to know that James Webb is gonna look at those faraway galaxies much clearer than any other tool we've ever had. Astronomers say James Webb can't look at the Big Bang but it could see the beginning of the universe, basically when it's a baby, around 400,000 years old. For the universe, 400,000 years, it's like a baby's age has passed one second. In this time, there's pretty much nothing you see in the universe. At least the things we're used to, like galaxies, stars, planets. None of them have been born yet. James Webb can see the birth of the first stars, and this is very exciting. Another thing on James Webb's schedule is to look at planets that are similar to planet Earth. and look at it very closely. Look what's going on. What's on it? What's its atmosphere made out of? Is there a chance that on this planet there could be life? James Webb also has a system that could measure the temperature of the planets and this is very useful. But don't think James Webb is only gonna look far away. It's gonna look at the solar system for a little bit too. It's gonna mainly look at Neptune's moons and asteroids that are around the solar system. Another thing it's gonna look at is objects flying into the solar system. Before it enters our solar system, like Oumuamua, and it entered the solar system and we saw it. And we made a video on it before if you want to check it out. James Webb is built in a way where it's going to get to everything. Another thing it's going to look at is the Milky Way and map out a few black holes. And try to take a picture of the best black hole it can find. And on the other hand, it's going to look at the births of new stars in the Milky Way. So James Webb is going to look far, far away and up close, but up close in universe distance. You guys know the main builder of this telescope is NASA and the other countries just paid money. NASA gave this telescope a 10 year lifespan. Basically, it will age 10 years. But this is like the cars from the 1960s. It's gonna work for five years, but it'll end up working for like 50 years. What do you think the first clear pictures of the James Webb is gonna look like? Imagine it looks at a planet and it realizes there's living things on it. What should we do at that time? But they're not going to be able to see James Webb, so there's no real danger. Either way, James Webb is going to figure out some cool stuff in the universe and let us know what it found out. Please let us know what you think about the first images James Webb is going to take.